Hello, welcome to the first day of this exciting new chapter in your life. I know what you're thinking. I don't know anyone. How will I find my way around? What's my course going to be like? It's okay to have these questions and feel a little bit nervous. We've all been there and we know what it's like. In this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know. We're going to try and make this transition as easy as possible. We might not answer all of your questions, but we will point you to people who can. We are Lucian Sabbath College. Thank you for joining us. One of the most important things about the college are the four values. The college as a whole and we as students are ambitious, inclusive, enterprising and resilient. To have ambition is to strive for excellence and be motivated to do well. I definitely see this in students' expectations of themselves and staff's expectations of students. To be inclusive means the college is a place where everyone feels valued and safe, regardless who they are or where they come from. To be enterprising means to get things done and develop skills that will be useful in the real world. Resilience is something that the college tries to bring out in all students. It's about never giving up on your ambitions and seeking other help without quitting. Like our values, our shared rights and responsibilities also work to keep everyone safe and help our community excel. There are a set of guidelines about how we should treat staff and peers and how we deserve to be treated in return. The College Charter is one place where you can read about your rights and responsibilities in more detail. You'll notice it written on posters around the college and on our websites too. It's easy to see just how important these rights and responsibilities are as different students share their college experience with you. Keeping good attendance and timing is so important because missing too many lessons really affects how well you do on your course. My main difficulties in education were my physical and mental health problems. It was sometimes difficult for my attendance to be 100% and my work to be to the standard I wanted it to be. The college helped me overcome these challenges by getting me into contact with people who would understand what I was going through and help me get through college. Once I finish my course here in September, I will be going to university and in fact I'll be the first person in my family to go and for me that's one of the greatest achievements you know, I could have gotten from this college. If a student has learning difficulties or a disability, I'd say the first thing to do is get in touch with your tutor. They'll know kind of who to get you into contact with and also get into contact with the student support services here and give as much details as you can about your needs and your experiences. So remember, take attendance seriously so you don't fall behind. Don't be afraid to ask for support whenever you need it and speak to your tutor or student services if you have any disability or learning difficulties. They will always try and help you. Student representation is another one of our important rights. When I first started, I was very anxious, I was scared and I did not know what to do with myself and I did not know how to integrate myself within the college and let my voice be heard. We needed to let our voice be heard and we wanted to make sure that there was change made, it, which is what the Student Union is all about. The role of Vice President of the Student Union has benefited me a lot. I've learned the importance of letting my voice be heard, how to organise everything so I make sure I get everything done on time, leadership qualities and how to become the person I am. It is the course representative's job to address the concerns and compliments of everyone within their course. If you are interested in being a course representative or the member of the Student Union, I would suggest first and foremost talking to the previous year's representatives as it is important to find out what they did in the role and what you should be doing. I would suggest that you talk to your tutor and your peers within your course to outline why you feel that you would be a good student for the role and what they think of you doing the role. The thing to remember is that student representation matters. So make your voice heard. Find out who your reps are and speak to your tutor or student services if you're interested in becoming a course rep yourself. Then we have equality, diversity, and respect. It's our responsibility to treat everyone fairly. When I first came to the college, I faced the challenge of how to pay for my daughter's childcare. At the time of starting the course, I wasn't working and I am a lone parent. I spoke to the college once I had passed um, induction and they advised me that 
I was able to get a bursary that would pay for my daughter's childcare, providing that my attendance and punctuality stayed at a certain level. Myself and my class had the challenge of keeping up with the work, so we decided to form a student group where we would all come together and do our work together on Wednesdays in the morning when we had a half day. We would utilise all of our skills to fully understand what was expected of us in each assignment. This in turn resulted in my tutor telling me that I was one of the strongest in the class, which helped to build my motivation and showed me that with hard work and determination, I could do anything. It's important that the student body is diverse because it creates a sense of community and belonging for everyone here. They do this by, first of all, um, putting inclusion in our values. We also have weeks and months dedicated to celebrating different parts of our community here and we offer talks, we do activities, all about giving information about the differences in our population. If you don't feel safe on the campus or within the college, it is important that you as a student know that you can talk to your progress coach, your personal tutor or your course reps. However, we do understand that this isn't always possible. As such, the student services are available and so are the security as well as the safeguarding officers on the campus. The key thing to remember is that equality, diversity and respect are part of who we are as a college. Treat everyone fairly. Expect the same in return and speak to your tutor or student services if you ever feel unsafe. Our values in collective rights and responsibilities help make your time at Lucian Pesava College some of the best years of your life. So while you may still be feeling a bit nervous, you start your time with us knowing that there's a whole community behind you and happy to give you support. As a student here, you'll be pushed to achieve your full potential and it might take you to further than you ever imagined. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask your student services, student union representatives or your tutors for help. Welcome to Lucian Sauer College.